DPP presidential candidate Lai Ching-te and his running mate Xiaobi Kim were confirmed elected with more than 5.58 million votes on Saturday. The Democratic Progressive Party is now the first political party to be in power for three consecutive terms since direct popular vote was instituted in 1996. Shortly after the election results were out, the DPP held an international press conference with 400 representatives of local and foreign media outlets. The president-elect said that Taiwan has told the world that between democracy and authoritarianism, it chose to stand on the side of democracy. Along with his running mate Xiaobi Kim, Lai Qingde took to the stage at the DPP's international press conference, calling his victory the world's first win for democracy in 2024. Taiwan is telling the world that between democracy and authoritarianism, it chooses to stand on the side of democracy. The Taiwanese people have successfully rebuffed the intervention of external forces with their actions, because we believed that our president should be chosen by ourselves. The country will continue to walk on the right path. It won't change course, let alone turn around. Lai shared three main points as a result of his victory. He also stressed that maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait is an important mission for him as president. In accordance with the Constitution of the Republic of China, I will maintain the status quo and will be neither humble nor arrogant. I ask China to engage in exchanges and dialogue instead of containment or confrontation. I will confidently take part in exchanges and cooperation with China on the premise of reciprocity and dignity. However, in the face of China's use of intimidation and military coercion, I am also determined to protect Taiwan. One member of the foreign press asked the newly elected president how he would attempt to reconnect the severed ties between Taiwan and China. Over the past eight years, President Tsai Ing-wen has continued to show goodwill. Unfortunately, China has not given us the response that we thought was appropriate. We also hope that in the future, in a new situation, China will realize that it too has responsibilities. Let's work together for the stability and development across the Taiwan Strait. After Lai and Xiao's election win was confirmed, leaders and dignitaries from the UK and the US, France, Lithuania and other countries sent congratulatory messages. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the US looked forward to further deepening its long-term informal relations with Taiwan. The U.S. State Department also reiterated its commitment to maintaining peace across the Taiwan Strait. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson posted on social media, saying that he would ask the chairs of the relevant House committees to lead a delegation to Taipei following Lai's inauguration on May 20th. Taiwan has its unique historic cultural identity, its unique uh, democracy, and it doesn't want to be under the thumb of, of, uh, of China. And, and Taiwanese voters looked at what China has done in Hong Kong, where they violated all of their agreements. Having received over 5.58 million votes, Lai Qingde faces an ever-intensifying situation in the Taiwan Strait, along with other challenges. Moving forward, the president-elect certainly has his work cut out for him in ensuring a stable governance.